Ladies Model community on the YouTubes and ladies and gentlemen, thank you for stopping in and watching our videos. I want to thank each and every one of you and you and you and the guy with the red hat and that lady holding her hand up over there uh, for stopping by, liking, sharing, subscribing, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever makes the world go around as Mr. Sean says. I want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing, resubscribing, stopping by, being new subscribers. Thank you to all the returning and the old subscribers. So we're going to roll that clip right now from scalefinishes.com because Mr. Jameson was kind enough to give us a discount code which is Eclectic10 to get discount, 10% discount on all your purchases. So let's, let's roll that clip and we'll see you in the main video. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Okay, Bruce, what are you going to say? Uh, and thank you for those kind words from our sponsor. And uh, greetings, I'm Bruce from Bruce's Eclectic World. And Bruce's World of Stuff. <laughs> and thank you for that awesome intro, Bruce. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bruce from... <laughs> I know I'm crazy today. It's Sunday morning. And uh, I did not have anything from Model Cars and Coffee, and I've missed it for the last couple of weeks, and I apologize for that. I really didn't have anything to show, and it's a life thing, okay? Uh, I will give you a, a sneak peek on a couple of things, but I wanted to do something different. Uh, besides thank Mr. Jameson for our awesome, awesome discount code so you all can save 10% on scalefinishes.com and uh, but I wanted to show you my work area it's nothing spectacular it's been modified but I don't think I've showed that so I thought well today would be a good day and it's Veterans Day tomorrow and I wanted to thank all of our veterans uh, for their service uh, protecting this awesome country and keeping us safe so we can do this model stuff. I mean, without them, we wouldn't be here doing this. Nope. It's been many, many, many years of people stepping up to the plate and protecting this country, giving their lives for this country, families giving their, their sons and daughters for this country. We appreciate each and every one of the family members, and we are condolences to all of your losses. We appreciate each and every one of you. Go around, check your neighbors. Well, I bet you within two houses of you somewhere, there is a veteran or a service person, and you need to tell them thank you. But with that being said, we don't want to forget about our police officers, our ambulance people, or even our utility people, linemen for the electric companies. They're out there to pour down storms and stuff, fixing our electricity so we can have electricity. Firefighters, they're running into the house when everybody else is running out. Been a volunteer farmer, I know how that works. And bark alert for Mr. Tip. <laughs> Who knows? He's a dog. Uh... I don't see anything on the camera outside, so who knows? Anyhow, awful, lost my train of thought, Bruce. So, thank you to all of our service people. Yes. Uh, I'm sure you got some of those people around you all, too, also. So, so, I thought today we would show our work area, like I said. So, I got you on the gimbal cam <laughs> that's what we're using today the the gimbal cam and uh i'm gonna stand up and i will turn it around 
So don't get too dizzy and fall over. And, and yes, I'll try not to fall over to you. <laughs> uh, here we go. That's my electronics part and my storage for my group builds. And that's how many group builds I'm working on right now. <laughs> uh, and there's there's more, but I mean, that's my electronics. Like I said, that's my electronics desk, and there's all my my meters and stuff. And uh, come back around this way. There's there's more, and there's you guys. Say hi. <laughs> uh, I'll tell. I'll back up a couple steps, and there's the. My work area used to right here it quit and I had my spray booth there. I moved that spray booth onto a cart and I gained that much area and I moved my microphone there and uh, there's my milk on a stick as John Shepard calls it. <laughs> Those that watch Stargate Atlantis recognizes that reference. Uh, and there's all my all my paints and stuff. And that's, that's my wall of paint. And uh, I added this little piece down here on the side of the desk. That gave me that little corner for st more storage of paint and things. Uh, of course, there's the keyboard. And uh, there's where I hang my some of my tools, my, my visors. And then over here is... Uh, all my Tamiya paints hanging on the side of this, my rolling cabinet, which is also my storage area, and where things get painted, that's where they sit. Yeah, looky, roundy round card. Oop, there it is, getting done. <laughs> Sneak peek, and of course there's more of my tool area. This is my just my junky area. Uh, when I refer to the solder station, hot air station, that's that right there. Uh, so why not try to move you around too fast? Uh, what else was I going to show you? I don't remember. Hmm. Oh, sneak peek. There you go, cars. <laughs> There's your grid belt I'm working on. Gonna get that done soon, I hope. We decided to make a spare tire rack on the back. Uh, there's one. Of the, there's one of the tires. Where's the camera at, Bruce? So we're gonna make a spare tire rack. We're working on that. We got some uh, brass tubing out and our Dremel and stuff. So I don't know what else to show you. Uh, of course, there's a lot of my spray cans and uh, all my acrylic paints, more spray cans, and then around here on the back side, around uh, past the other chair, there's all my hanging supplies. So. This is my junk room back here where I store stuff. <laughs> back over here and things. There's my paint booth on my cart, like I said. And I, I use a furnace filter. Get over here, Bruce. And uh, it uh, hooks the uncle's air conditioner out the window. There's the compressor down there. And then paper towels. And uh, my masks. And that's that's my work area. I uh, don't know what else to show you. <laughs> so let me set you down here and turn you back around. 
go. So that's that's what I got today for my Sunday morning model cars and coffee. <laughs> I know it's model related, right? I have a bunch of uh, old stuff that's survived the mom condensing process that I'll semis and stuff that I may try to drag out and do some videos on later. Just too many irons in the fire. Uh, some wife issues with my eyes and by the way it's Vayner's dad gets to go have another shot in the right eye and then two weeks later I get to go have a shot in the left eye. Actually it's the other way around but needless to say I get shot in both eyes in, in this, this, this month so awesome stuff. Trying to save what eyesight I got. Uh, and some days it's just I can't see so I can see the TV to watch TV. So Mr. Brian over got fuels. I uh, sorry to hear about your issues, and I hope it gets better. If it doesn't, you just have to learn to do with what you have, and that's what I do. I mean, it's it's hard sometimes, but it's. It's a necessity to go on with life because it's the, way, it's the way life is. Your Lord ain't going to give you something you can't handle. You know, you got get to get on that one other rung, next one up. You know, you got to prove yourself. So, he gives you the challenges. It's up to you to meet the challenges. And I do it every day. As much as everybody else does. So, with that being said, once again, Happy Veterans Day. Thank you to all our service people. We love each and every one of you. Thank each and every one of you. And thanks to families that have lost the people that gave their lives for this country. So take care, my friends. Remember, save the fingers. Be kind to your neighbors. You don't know when you're going to see them again. Because that C word thing still floating around. Uh, so take care, and we'll talk at you later. God bless. Bye-bye. Oh, must be the other button.